In this video, we'll look at the powerful new RAD Dock control added to the RAD controls for WinForms in the latest Telerik release. The new RAD Dock is a very powerful, in our opinion, the best docking control available for WinForms applications. It's a complete redo of the docking control for the RAD controls for WinForms, and we set out to examine all the docks that were out there and examine the best of breed docking type solutions that you may find something like Visual Studio, and create a component that improves on and captures all of the essence of that research so that you could build outstanding docking experiences in your WinForms applications. Now, one of the problems with the previous docking control available for the RAD controls for WinForms is that it was very difficult to get the layouts to work properly. Transitioning between states, such as having floating windows or docked windows, would lose sizing and layout information. And when you move things around, layout would tend to often completely reset. And we want to overcome all of that with a new version. So what I have open here is the new bug tracker demo, which you can easily download and play with from Telerik.com. Uh, you first of all notice that this demo is composed of a number of RAD controls. I have a tree view here to the left, a grid displaying items in the center. I have a RAD ribbon bar up top giving me additional items. And I even have some menus in here as well. I am finally also using another new feature found in the RAD controls for WinForms, and that is the transparency support in the RAD form object. You can now see that behind here there's transparency and you can see other windows through it. But what we want to focus on is the new RAD dock which is making up the majority of the layout of this form. Now, as you'd expect RAD dock does provide a very flexible layout mechanism providing split containers that I can move around to adjust the layout of my application. Document windows and as I double click on different tickets in this bug tracker demo, an application again meant to simulate a standard bug tracking system within an organization. So I'll double click on a few windows. You can see it opens additional documents here down below. If I click on these, I can see the different documents. But where we start to see some of the unique features of RAD Doc come out are, for instance, in areas like remembering layout. So what I have here on the left is a Team Explorer Doc. If I expand this, now pay attention to the size, I've made this Team Explorer Doc now about twice as wide. If I drag this, you start to see some of the new improvements in the RAD Doc. You see this very intuitive, very nimble, easy to use docking indicator giving users a very easy way to show where this dock will land. But if I don't redock it somewhere else and just leave it floating, I now have a floating window with my Team Explorer contents. Easy to take it from docking to floating. And now that it's in its floating state, I'm actually going to go ahead and make it a very narrow floating window. Now when I take this back to its original docking position, I want you to observe how the RAD dock automatically enables its panels to remember the layout state in the different, in the different uh, transitional states that it goes through. So if we go back to the docked state, I'll dock it back to where it originally was. Notice that it resumes that wide position that we'd originally set. If I go back to the floating state, notice that it resumes that narrower window that we'd previously defined as well. So the RAD dock has this built-in intelligence to remember layout and automatically restore it, eliminating the hassles of a layout that constantly reset itself as windows transition between states. So these are, or I should say, docking panels. So these panels then are very intelligent in the RAD dock for WinForms. In fact, there's even a shortcut for your power users to transition between these states in the new dock. I can simply double click on the title bar and it returns to the previous state. So double clicking took it back to docking and once it's docked, I can double click again and it'll go back to floating. Another nice new feature in the RAD dock is that the dock panels have the ability to fill their given area so they'll automatically fill and complete the layout. And they also have the ability to support a collapsible layout. By setting minimum sizes as I start to collapse my form, watch the titles for the document panels here in the lower portion of my form. As I start to reach them, notice that they don't get covered up, but they actually start to scoot up, if you will, with my form so that you can still see them for as long as possible. And this collapsible layout is an usability feature that makes it possible for as much as your UI to be exposed to your users regardless of the size of the rendered application. Also nice is a advanced feature within the RAD dock completely available out of the box, and that is control tab navigation between your dock panels. So if I push control tab on the keyboard, you see a window pops up and I can then use the arrow keys to navigate through the open panels, including the open active document windows within my RAD dock. On top of that, to the far right, we see a real time preview of what that dock window or that document window looks like. So I can navigate, let's say, to the missing template binding document, release the control key, and I go directly to that dock and in this case to that document. So it's a very nice, convenient way for users to navigate through RAD Dock if they're looking to completely use the keyboard to get around. Of course, RAD Dock is also completely themable, so all the RAD controls for WinForm themes can be applied, making it very seamlessly fit into your application. We currently have the blue theme applied, but if I click through these, you can see silver and black as well, and the themes all nicely apply and style the application. Finally, a few other 
features to highlight at the runtime, I can collapse my panels as well. You can see I have a number of options here if I click on the down arrow to go to those states, such as floating or tab document. Uh, but one that we've not seen is auto hide. So if I make this auto hide, then when I hover over the tab, it'll automatically expand. And if I hover off, it'll automatically collapse. So there's that automatic pause and wait to expand option now as well. And I can pin it to take that and make it a static dock panel once again. Same for my document windows. If I right click on a document window, I have a familiar feature for anybody perhaps fam familiar with the docking in Visual Studio. I can right click and select close, close all but this, close all, or I can even create new groups such as a new horizontal tab group directly from the runtime. That's a quick introduction to the runtime features in the new RAD dock for WinForms. Now let's take a very quick look at some of the design time features in Visual Studio. I'm going to open up Visual Studio 2008, and what we see here is a standard WinForms project, nothing else added to it at this point. I'm going to drag onto my WinForms form a RAD doc from the RAD controls for WinForms. From the smart tag for my RAD doc, I'm going to select doc in parent container, and that's going to automatically fill my doc to fill my entire form. Now within the smart tag, you see I have a number of options to add doc panels to this doc. So I could say add a new doc window left, add one, let's say, to the right, and let's just go ahead and even say add one to the bottom. You can see that it's very easy to start building my layout, however complex or simple it may be, using nothing but the smart tag. And if I were to run this at this point by simply clicking save, and then I'll hit control F5, we'll see that a lot of that functionality we're looking at in the bug tracker demo is available directly out of the box when I work with the RAD controls for WinForms and RAD doc specifically. So if I grab tool window one and start dragging it around, you see I've got that indicator built right in. I didn't have to do anything to enable that functionality. You notice that I have the pin and unpin menu to enable the hovering and the sliding back. And you also notice if I go and use control tab, I can use control tab to navigate through my windows as well. All that functionality we just explored is all out of the box, including that memory of size. So if I expand this, go to floating, and then take it back to its previously docked position, it remembers that transitional state and layout. So nothing you have to do to use that functionality. It's all out of the box, free features, if you will, no configuration required. So very powerful control without any work. One additional thing to show about the design time, with the new RAD dock, there's an advanced designer. If I re-click on the RAD dock and select that element, go to its smart tag, you'll notice near the bottom of the smart tag is a show advanced layout designer. If I click this, Directly from Visual Studio, I launch the new Advanced Layout Designer that comes with Rad Dock, and here I get an exact representation of what my Rad Dock currently looks like. If I scoot this to the side, behind you can see that's an equivalent representation of the dock in Visual Studio. This tool gives me a lot more ability to completely customize and lay out what I want my Rad Dock to look like. By clicking these green arrows in the ribbon bar, I can, for instance, add more windows. The center box will add a new document window, so there we go. I can add a couple of documents. Maybe I add one more panel to the bottom. I can start resizing this in real time, laying this out, position this exactly the, a, the way I want it, excuse me. I can even take a window and make it floating here. So I can take this rad window, maybe I want tool window 2 to float and not be docked. When I'm done making all the cu customizations I want to make, I can either save this configuration to a file, which I can then use to load with another application that has rad dock and completely restore this state, or I can simply click Save and Close, assuming I want to save my changes. Discard's always an option as well. But let's go ahead and click Save and Close. When I do that, any changes I've made in the Advanced Layout Designer are automatically applied to my RAD doc within Visual Studio. The only run or design time preview that cannot be displayed in Visual Studio is a floating window. However, if I save my application at this point and run it once again by hitting Control F5, we'll see that when the application does run, the floating window is remembered, and we do see that it does retain the state that we set within the Visual Advanced Style Builder. So if I take this back, or the Advanced Layout Designer. So if I take this back and dock it, though, you'll see, and I'll move this once again so you can compare to Visual Studio, it resumes its layout as if it were in the docked position. So the Advanced Layout Designer is a very easy way to completely customize and create the exact docking experience you want, but once again, without needing to write any code or waste any time. Hopefully this quick introduction to the runtime and design time features of the RAD dock for the RAD controls for WinForms has shown you the power of this control. It'll make it easier for you to get started with this in your own development.